Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing your full moon energy reading for the month of April. This full moon is going to peak on April 23rd, and it's going to peak in the sign of Scorpio. So what does this mean for the collective? We're going to dive deeper into each individual signs in these readings, but collectively we're going to be experiencing some deep personal transformation, both spiritually and emotionally. Scorpio as an astrological sign really challenges us to dive deep into our self-discovery journey. So during this time, there will be challenges that will present themselves that are going to make you question the way you approach challenges, the way you resolve problems, the way you react to triggers. I challenge you to just sit with that energy. Allow yourself to have the reaction that you normally have. Observe and then make your determination. That's going to help you come to an understanding of what needs to be fixed, what needs to change. Now, if you're approaching things in an appropriate manner and everything is hunky-dory, you're probably not going to see too many challenges arise, but it's always good to be prepared. And so that's the energy that we're going to be diving into today. So this message is going to be for the sign of Gemini. I'm going to dive right into Gemini's energy here, spirit, and see what Gemini needs to see for this full moon. What is Gemini going to be releasing? Through this energy. Please and thank you. Gemini, there's abundance that's trying to make its way to you. But there's a person in your life that you continually to resort back to. And maybe this person always reaches out to you. Maybe you reach out to this person. But I definitely feel like this person was meant to leave a long time ago. However, you feel an intensity to this connection. And that's what makes you stay. And the energy surrounding you through this full moon is the Ten of Swords. So I honestly feel here, Gemini, this is about accepting. Accepting that this is no longer working and the only other option is to walk away. I also feel here through this process, there are going to be new opportunities, new experiences that are going to come in. But you're going to have to be open to those experiences. You have to Put yourself in situations where you're going to meet new people and experience new things. You can't just isolate yourself from the world and expect these experiences to come in. I definitely feel here, Gemini, through this energy, you are focused on what's best for yourself. What's best um, for your energy and your experience. And that. I don't really look at that as selfish. That's exactly where you need to be. I definitely feel though, Gemini, for some time, you had a hard time putting yourself first in this scenario. It's like you gave and you gave and you gave and never got anything in return. And finally coming to terms again with this isn't working. It's no longer serving you. The lesson has been learned. The message has been received. Now it's time to move forward. So let's start by clarifying this Ten of Swords energy. Ten of Swords for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know? Please and thank you. I feel here at one point, this person, there was a lot of happiness. There was a lot of love 
here, but now there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of questioning. And through this process, you're really not happy with this person in this predicament anymore. So how do you change it? Gemini, you are already headed in the right direction. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. It's like through this process, even if we don't intentionally choose and we just live life by the seat of our pants, we'll still be directed spiritually. It just may take longer to grasp and move through the challenging energy. I feel here you're accepting, you're coming to terms with this has to end. You have to let this go in order to move forward. I do feel like there is a lot of sadness that you've experienced with this person. And I feel like this has been a long time coming. So take some time, Gemini, with yourself through this process. And get clear on what you want to focus your energy on next. Okay? So, and I don't recommend focusing on... A person. I really recommend focusing on like a goal. Maybe this is a career goal or a business goal. Maybe this is a spiritual goal or a personal development goal. Something such as incorporating more yoga or meditation into your life. You see what I mean? Or maybe this has to do with changing careers and uh, working from home instead of having to go and transmute and work somewhere else. You see what I mean? Finding a balance is going to be important through this energy. So making sure that you're taking care of yourself. Again, guys, this is like Mercury retrograde and a full moon. So you're, this is the ending of the Mercury retrograde when this full moon peaks, but you're still going to be moving through this energy. Okay. So don't beat yourself up. If it feels too burdensome, take a rest. I also feel here, Gemini, there are people, friends, business partnerships. There's a support system that you have around you that is already helping you to accomplish your goals and your dreams that you desire in your life. So lean into that. Lean into those people. You know, go out and have more fun with those people. Do more things with those people. Incorporate those people more into your life instead of the people that are causing confusion and, and uncertainty. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up, comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story can help another person. Gemini, I do recommend you healing from this ending. The Ten of Swords is an ending of betrayal. If you look at the Ten of Swords energy, this is like being stabbed in the back. This card, the, they're walking away. But in the classic Rider Waite tarot deck. It's a man laying on the ground with a whole bunch of knives sticking out of his back. There is a need for a time to rest, a need for a time to rejuvenate, and a need for a time to heal. I also recommend if you don't actively have like a counselor or somebody that you talk to that's like an outside perspective from the situation, Take some time to journal about it. Getting in a routine for journaling is going to help you immensely while going through this process and in life in general, but especially through this, okay? The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups are both linked. It's like a betrayal. So you look back at this situation like, did I need to really go through this? Should I have let this go a lot sooner, how would my life look like if I didn't hold on to this for so long? And that's where I get that energy of don't beat yourself up over this, Gemini. You did what you needed to do in the time that the energy was presented to you with all of the facts 
that were given to you at that time. And then things changed and your perspective changed. That's okay. You weren't given everything that you needed up front in order to make an honest decision about this person in your life. They hid things from you. Accepting that will help you to move through this energy. I also feel here that the magician energy, there's a need to be mindful of your thoughts. Magician is the master manifester. What is manifestation? Manifestation is literally the power of your thoughts. So it's time to free yourself from this past situation. And accepting that this person wasn't doing you good. They weren't doing right by you. They didn't have your best intention at heart. So now it's time, Gemini, to protect your energy. So even if this person comes back, even if they try to save face, apologize, blah, 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 know that that's a surface apology. There is no... It's not intentional, okay? They're not sincere about it. So just be mindful of their energy. And like, especially if you don't have to deal with this person, it's time to walk away. Let's pull a moon manifestation oracle message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. individuality I also am being called to point out 47 it breaks down to the number 11 numerologically and so 11 is a master number if that's resonating for you I recommend looking up what the meaning of the number 11 means spiritually so Gemini the manifestation message that comes with this card is choosing this symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your unique qualities. It also reminds you not to compare yourself to others. This is a futile exercise because no one is the same. No one's beauty is greater or lesser than yours. No one's life is better or less than yours. Others may seem happy doing things a certain way, but if you feel as if you're compromising yourself to fit in, don't do it. People will love you for who you are, not someone who you are trying to be. Your task here is to be yourself. This is a powerful sign today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gemini, I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you for this energy taking care of yourself, putting yourself foot first, putting your best foot forward. When it comes to partnerships, changes in career, I definitely feel like there are some big changes that are coming up for you, Gemini. And I also feel like some of this has to do with career money coming in. If you have an idea, thought, or a dream, a vision in your mind, why not approach it? What's stopping you from going after that, making that change, making that transition? It may take a little bit of time, but I promise you the outcome will be worth it. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. I hope the message was helpful for you. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.